consent that the quorum call be vitiated. Without objection. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, as I was home last week for Thanksgiving, traveling the state of Wyoming, talking to many folks, I heard a lot. Got an earful from people about the Democrats' reckless tax and spending bill that's being proposed and that Senator Schumer has said he wants to get passed before Christmas. Well, if that's the case, it's going to be a long December. The people of Wyoming do not like this bill because they're finding out more and more about what's in it and how it's going to impact their lives. And so, Mr. President, I come to the floor today to talk about a couple of things that the American people have heard and the people in Wyoming have been tuned into dramatically, and that is wanting to know what's it cost. Because just before Thanksgiving, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office released its report about the cost of the bill. And the report confirmed what Republicans who have read through it have expected. It's jam-packed with phony accounting gimmicks, and it seems like the Democrats have used just about every trick in the book to deal with the true cost of the massive amounts of money the Democrats are trying to spend in this bill with one giveaway after another and additionally entitlements, new entitlements that the country cannot afford. Even with all the gimmicks used, the spending is still hundreds of billions of dollars added to the debt. Not just hundreds of billions of dollars of spending, hundreds of billions of dollars added to the expense. This is a violation of the speech that Joe Biden has given repeatedly, that his press people have said repeatedly, that the Speaker of the House has said repeatedly. Because they continue to say, and the President has said, and the Secretary, I think, of Treasury just yesterday said, the cost of the bill would be zero. I can remember seeing President Biden on television saying the cost is zero, zero, zero. The Budget Office even says it's hundreds of billions of dollars added to the debt. But watching this unfold, as the President and the Democrats have tried to force this bill onto the American public, there have been three big lies coming out of the President's mouth repeatedly on this. One is he said it would cost zero. The second, he said he wouldn't raise taxes on anybody making less than $400,000 a year. And the third thing, he said it wouldn't add to inflation. Well, the President has been wrong on all of those. Hundreds of billions of dollars onto the debt. Hundreds of billions of dollars. It does raise taxes on the middle class. The budget analysts and the tax analysts who looked at this say at least one in three Americans in middle income areas will be paying more in taxes. And it will certainly increase inflation. And, Mr. President, I would point out that people at home are feeling the biting impacts of inflation. It is hitting their lives. It is hitting their pocketbooks. They noticed it over Thanksgiving holidays. People in Wyoming going to the gas station, you fill up your truck, it's $100 hundred dollars every time you fill up. People drive great distances to work uh, in Wyoming. I think our, we're the state that has the most miles driven average for any state over the course of a year, more miles driven in Wyoming by the Wyoming residents. So we know what happens when gas prices go up the dollar and a quarter. Prices are up at the store as well. <laughs> up a dollar and a quarter at the grocery store. I don't know if you noted the Dollar Tree stores actually change it to a dollar and a quarter for what they're charging for things. That's what we're getting under this administration with its reckless positions and policies. But yet yesterday, Treasury Secretary and the Banking Committee said that this would not add to the debt. You know, the American people don't believe it. Poll after poll say the President is not being honest with them. In their opinion, that's what they're seeing. And the budget report confirms it. The American people do not want more debt, more taxes, and more spending, which results in higher costs for them. When the President said it wouldn't actually raise taxes on people making up to $400,000 a year, 
are the direct taxes, which the budget analysts point out to us, but there's also the taxes that are going to be raised by the IRS fund, putting the American people under the microscope. Because in this bill that the Democrats are proposing, it supersizes the Internal Revenue Service to go after American taxpayers, to try to squeeze more money out of honest people so they can spend it on things like five new entitlements for illegal immigrants. The bill would nearly double the size of the IRS, and the money was going to enforcement. And then let's talk about a little, some of the tax breaks who are in this. Who's going to benefit the most with tax cuts that are actually in the bill? Because the president says there are tax cuts in it. Well, there are. Nancy Pelosi's California, they benefit, the millionaires there benefit a lot. People of New York benefit a lot. People of New Jersey benefit a lot. The millionaires in those three states will see significant cuts in their taxes as middle-income people pay more. Which gets us to the third big concern about what the president is continuing to say to the American people, which is where he says that it will not add to inflation. People can see through this. They see what they're paying. They see the inflation's coming. I would note that yesterday the chairman of the Federal Reserve said that this idea about temporary inflation is wrong. Oh, no, here to stay. People get it, and they don't like it. They don't like it when they're thinking about what's going to happen if they're trying to shop for Christmas. Can they get what they want to buy, and what's it going to cost? Well, the president has said that 17 Nobel laureates said the bill wouldn't add to inflation. But then his comments were fact-checked, as so many, fact, so many things that we say are fact-checked. And what those economists, the Nobel economists, actually said was it wouldn't add to inflation if the bill were fully paid for. And it is not, because the budget officials have pointed out that the bill is going to add hundreds of billions of dollars to the debt. As I started this, Mr. Ch uh, President, I talked about the fact that I was home for Thanksgiving. Well, this, thanks this Thanksgiving has been most the most expensive ever for the American people. And people are now really worried about what's going to happen come Christmas. Price of gas is at a seven-year high. Natural gas is at a seven-year high, and it's getting colder. Winter is here. What's going to happen with heating costs? Hard to believe that in just 10 months as president, Joe Biden has taken us with inflation to a 30-year high. According to one estimate, families are paying about $175 more each month because of inflation since President Biden took office. That's about a $2,000 bite out of the paychecks for every working American over a year. Now, it's interesting when you kind of dig into the meat of what's in this bill, they want to make, the Democrats want to make energy even more expensive than it is now. So if we're at a seven-year high for the cost of gasoline and a seven-year high for the cost of natural gas, what's going to happen when the new taxes and regulations on American energy go into effect at a time when President Biden is begging Russia, Vladimir Putin, and, so, and Saudi Arabia to produce more oil to sell it to us. It's a jackpot for Putin. That's what we have. Joe Biden's jackpot payday for Vladimir Putin at the expense of the American people. So there are families that are going to have to decide this winter whether they're going to be able to afford to eat or to heat their homes. And the Democrats' tax and spending bill is going to raise taxes across the board. And a lot of it is aimed at small businesses, mom and pop operations. What are they going to do with the taxes that come at them? Well, of course, they're going to pass them on to the customers. And what's that going to do to the cost when the customer comes in? The cost is going to go up, and therefore, you have inflation. Another part of what the, what the Democrats are proposing, which will make inflation worse, is they're going to increase government spending. More spending, more debt, more printing of money by the Federal Reserve. 
more dollars facing fewer goods, prices will go up. One of the things that um, I'm starting to hear about as people learn more about it is the increased cost of child care under the President's proposal by about $13,000 per family. Look, this is already a huge expense for working families. Well, the bill could nearly double it. That's because it includes a federal takeover of child care in America. In total, the bill would create more than 150 new government programs. Interestingly, it uses the words tax, fee, penalty 637 times. When the President says build back better, I look at this as a bill that's going to break the back of American families 637 times, tax, fee, penalty. From top to bottom, this bill is a laundry list of more taxes, more debt, more government control over our lives. The people of Wyoming do not like it and do not want it. This is not what the American people are asking for. They don't like its content. They don't like its cost. And the more they learn about it, the less they like it. It's interesting because the day after the Budget Office came out with their report, the Democrats rushed the bill through the House saying, we've got to get this through here before people see what's in it. Every Republican is united against it. Every Republican voted against it in the House. And actually, there was a Democrat who voted against it as well. So the opposition is bipartisan. Now the bill comes to the Senate. Here we are. I promise you it will hit a buzzsaw of resistance from Republicans in this body. So Democrats in the Senate have to make a decision. As people in our state struggle to pay for Christmas, the Democrats who are pushing this reckless proposal have to decide whether or not they want to ignore the suffering that has been created by this administration with increased prices by causing prices to go up even higher, as well as taxes to go up as well. The American people know that President Biden has not been truthful with them about the bill, about what he has said about the cost, about what he has said about taxes, about what he has said about inflation. Poll after poll says they don't believe him, because they know the bill is going to add hundreds of billions of dollars to the debt. They know it's going to raise taxes on the middle class, and they know it's going to make the pain of inflation even worse. If Democrats pass this bill, everyone in this country will end up paying for it one way or another. The last thing the American people need for Christmas is higher taxes, more debt, and higher prices. The last thing the American people are asking for is this reckless tax and spending. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor. The Senator from Mississippi. Madam President, I'd rise to second.